day two. Big lake, and Richie will be here in a bit, and that's Mr. Richbiss. And then we're going metal detecting. Look at that, this is where I'm staying. Golf course there, look. Beautiful hotel there. What a stunning view there. The weather's not bad at all, it's sun shining. That's Boo Eddie down there, going metal detecting with him. And the guy who set this all up for me is, is here. This is Mr. Rich Biss. And so, I've got some gifts, Jeff, from Austria. Thank you very much for those. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, check this guy's channel out, Rich Biss, YouTube. Find some great stuff, so have a look at him. And we're going now, so we'll catch up with you when we dig something up. You'll see what it is. Well, we're here, fellas, and I think we're doing this field over here which has been ploughed and it's very flat, that looks exciting. I don't know what we're going to get. And the other two boys are getting ready, behind me. And uh, a big shout out to Hayden, and to Sam Waters, and to Wendy Sharp. Congratulations, Wendy Sharp. Off to a start with a coin. It's really thin. I can only think it's a penny, but it's just not legible, nothing. Smooth as a baby's bum, both sides. So, there's an next fine ringing up in the mid 60s. I think it's a big musket ball. Big old horseshoe. Does that mean I'm going to be lucky? It could be. Right, okay, Rich has just come over. Just found this little button and I'm going to show him this coin. How did you do, Richard? Nothing so far. Nothing. All right, I've got two coins. George the first, half penny. So, mid 1700s. That's a beautiful little find. And he thinks that one might be a token. That's, I'm sure that's a token, so that'd be late, very late 1700s. Yeah. And another musket ball. 60, 65. Not so big as the other one. But that's what it is. Nam nam. Real English pork pie. Fooled again. It's a washer. Flat button, so just had a break again. Sorted, found a flat button straight away. Okay, so next find, mid 60s, 66, and it's a bronze ring. I don't think it's a finger ring. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't know what else it would be though. I've got an 82, 83 signal here, and uh, I want you to see a live dig. I don't know what it is, but good chance it's a coin. Let's see, let's take that bit out. We've got three big chunks out there, let's see if it's in. No, it's out. And it's in there. Okay, so. Let's see. There there somewhere what the hell is this what the hell is this that's ringing up 82 83 I do not believe it that thing is ringing up 82 83 let me just double check throw that down there and it was stuck to that thing I'm just going to put that over there. I don't believe that. Best signal I've had. Best signal I've had for God knows how long. Yeah. Yeah, 82, 83. <laughs> what do I see here? Is it or isn't it? I don't know. I don't know how I can do this. I don't know how I can break this open. Is he still seeing it? I'm trying my best. the hell? Oh shit, it's a button. <laughs> I thought I'd got a hammy. It's nothing really important. I believe that it's uh, a four-old button. I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, I honestly think it's a projectile of some sort, a bullet. 
it's lead, it's very heavy and it's tapered from one end to the other so possibly a bullet just got a beautiful 8082 signal here and I've dug down quite deep and I'm just looking here and I can look can you see that there look right there whatever it is oh my god what the hell is this it's copper it's really thin I do not know but that looks bloody ancient to me it's not a button that looks extremely thin oh dear this is interesting this is very very interesting look how thin it is look I just do not have a clue but it's about the size of an eightney or a half penny but there's a beautiful pattern on there or something I think that's a coin that is extremely interesting I am over the moon with that whatever it is Okay, I just thought I'd show you this. That's a Norman church. So, 800, 1,000 years old in the background there. So there must have been some activity around there. But it's about two and a half hours since um, since I found anything. So, and I've been on this field 20 minutes now. But this fella over here has found a nice Roman, what they call a trumpet brooch. In fact, we'll have a walk over and I'll ask him if he'll it'll show it you uh, and it's quite a nice thing so there was some Roman activity around there and if you think about it when that church was built uh, that that brooch had been in the ground for a thousand years then <laughs> that's incredible to think that Boo can we have a look at your trumpet brooch So, there we go, if I may, there you go, what's about that fellas, Roman trumpet brooch, up there, there now you can see it, beautiful, complete as well, very nice find that, very nice find, and I will just yes, say, yeah. what's really odd, is when that, when that church was built, that had been in the ground a thousand years probably, yeah. <laughs> maybe more, so that's incredible. Good morning everybody. This is a continuation from yesterday because it didn't really find me. So I'll put this into one video. These guys, four king diggers here. That guy. There, this guy. And the guy behind. John 316. Mr. Richie Bissy. I don't know who you are. You do now. I do now. Uh, this is Mr. I do now. <laughs> I don't know who these guys are. I do now. <laughs> and him. Again, his ear look. Can't get rid of him. <laughs> well, it's a nice day. Sun's out. It's not cold. Not a breath of wind. And uh, first find, big old, big old old shoe look. So, will I be lucky again? You tell me. I ain't got a clue. But that's, about, that's the only signal I've had. You can see everybody's down in that other field down here and I've come up here because I always figure if you're going to build somewhere to live you'd want to be on the top there so you can see everything coming at you in olden times. And also for drainage purposes you won't get so much here. It really is like a quagmire down there where they are in that field. It's terrible. I was sinking up to my ankles in, in mud but all the way up from the main road there where you can see the cars going past now. And I was coming up and I was just sinking in mud. So I've come up here. It's not really much better up here. The, the mud's really terrible. And uh, that's all I've found. So okay, I've got a feeling this is going to be the find of the day. I don't think there's anything much here. Well, I'm very tempted to give up. Because what, I've been here. We've seen what I've dug. A piece of crap, uh, crappy stuff. And it all shoe, and that's it. And all I'm getting is iron signals. You can see my tracks there. And I've come from over there, over the other side of that hill. So it's a long way back to the car. I've just come across this pond, thinking how pretty it was. There were two ducks flown away. Two Canadian geese went that way. I don't think there's any fish in it. I doubt it, but you never know. And um, I'm just tired of not getting any signals. Rifle casing. That seems like that's the only other thing 
to an iron, I'm going to find here. That's about the best single I've had all day, shotgun cartridge. It is uh, nice, and there's Richie down there looking at me. He knows I'm filming him. And that's Rich Biss there. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Richard. You'll, you'll see this when you look. Uh, he's found a couple of apenies, ship apenies. There's been the silver arm we found. The signals are really, really very few and far between here. The only decent signals I've had have been cartridges and shotgun shells. This is, what's your name again? Fubar. 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 I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> That's most of the finds are. Yeah. And, and he's got a hammy look. What, what is it? Do you know it's a lizard? Lizzy heart growth. Can they turn it over? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's better that side, isn't yeah. it, actually? Look at that. Right, just hold it in your hand. I'm going to take a photo of that. So... I'm going to stop taping now and just photo this. So, foobar of the four king diggers. That's there is the one. Up. Yeah, Oi, folks. I, I have a lot to do with these guys, or well, sort of. <laughs> I've been going six hours, um, not really found anything, not one coin. I've, in fact, I've been lying down there in the sun for the last hour. But I wanted to show you this beautiful countryside. And um, everybody's down. There's been a few bits come up, nothing really much. One silver hammered. But it's not good, is it? Between 35 people, there's about 35 of us. Uh, one cartwheel. And um, I've about had enough. I'm going to walk down there and make my way back to the car. Um, but then I've got to sit there and wait for Richie because he don't finish till I pass for. I don't expect him to finish just because I've done. Um, I don't know what else to do. I'm just really getting fed up. Get back to the airport, get my car and off to Nottingham. So we shall see you later. This is the original Sherwood Forest. You can see the old oak trees in the back there. Really creepy they are, look. Look at that one. And some more down there. I'll show you some better ones as we get down, but I've got a fair old walk now. There it is. That is Robin Hood's tree, where he used to hide with his merry men from the Sheriff of Nottingham and you can go inside it and normally I do go inside it uh, I'm thinking about my wife and Jessie now because I brought them here last time I was here and uh, if you can see that part there you can get in there and there is enough room believe me inside there for 18 or 20 20 people no problem whatsoever I normally hop over the fence but I can't there's a guy here talking to school kids today and if I jump over that fence, he'll go nuts. Because uh, I would love to show you inside it. Uh, and just, to, just you can squeeze through there. Uh, maybe I could still get through, but it's a job. I don't know, maybe this guy will let us go through. Let's go see what he's saying. This tree is that old that they have to prop it up with these props, look, and cables and stuff. It's a uh, awesome age, really. They're letting the kids in, so maybe I can go in with the kids. That fella over there, uh, he's in charge. He's let these kids in, and as soon as I approached it, he closed it off. Not allowed in insurance, he says. Insurance. So apparently I need insurance. So I don't know what the hell I need insurance for. They are protecting this tree, that I understand. So I've had a word with him. I've just said, look, you know. Is that recording? Yeah. Um, would it be all right if you'd be able to just delete that and wait till the children have come out? It's just... just... Uh, 
Okay, so this is a tree. The fellas let me come in. Thank you very much. Uh, it let me get right up to the the hole there. I took a photo inside and then what will turn out like. I better took some film too. So now it's back to Austria in two days' time. Uh, yeah, you see, absolutely huge tree. Absolutely huge. It must be 60, 65 feet all the way around. So there you are. You've been to Robin Hood's tree and inside it even. So here's the roundup for the other two days. I mean, what I found on the second, the last day I was there was just not worth showing. Uh, although I didn't put all the effort into it. I tried though and it was just a field i don't know if you've ever had that experience you get on it you don't find anything in two hours and you think it's not my day uh, but i'm not complaining because overall i did okay um in the three days so this is what i found anyway that's a token or we'll say they seem to think i thought it was an old penny but it's not not the right size i don't guess or it's not far off though um uh, so he seems to think that's a token and this is 1700 1700 penny or a half penny which i've still to clean up yet so there it is so i'll show you when i get cleaned up all right just want to show you this uh, this was given to me actually by john the 316 uk uh, you should check this guy out he really does have a great channel this is a uh, yeah, tell me. It's a cartwheel penny and it's 1790 something. Um, I don't know if you can see the date on there, but not got any glasses on. And I've always wanted one of these. I, I was given one by a friend and I lost it. Uh, so now I've got this one. John found this on the hunt and he gave it to me. Thank you very much, John. Really appreciate that. I'm holding it in my hand so you can see just how big this is. Uh, and I'll pick up a normal penny here. Oh, and you can see see the difference now. Absolutely huge and twice as thick as a penny. Uh, these old cartwheel pennies are. Look at that. I'll have a wait. So thank you, John. And uh, check out the four king diggers too. I met them on the field. Great guys. They were very very much worth a look on YouTube. And Rich Biss. Yeah, can't thank you enough, Richard and Boo. Um, Really good to me, and I've just heard that Richard's found a Roman horde. I don't know whether he wants me to broadcast that or not. But um, well, I'm sure he'll do the right thing and inform the authorities that he's found a Roman horde. This was uh, the day before I left. Uh, sadly, I wasn't with him, and sadly, I didn't find any Roman. But I had a great time in general, so uh, thank you everybody for looking. And uh, check these guys out, please.